<laughs> come, come, coming up next, if you want to see what will happen if Ven tries to install a mechanical keyboard into Alt a Jedi, Ford. you... you, you Alt- <laughs> <laughs> That's the show title. Um... And welcome back to Linux Gamecast Wheeler Show. It covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, and news, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, D9VK is out, but they need to put it in my Proton. And Quake 2 RTX, we've been waiting on that, is coming out in just a few days for everyone with an NVIDIA card. And Sky really does capture the challenge of trying to th- see things in space with the naked eye. And one week later, we find out if an R's writer likes Valve's new toaster. The results may shock and horrify you. The Weebus Dungeon comes for you. I even did a stream of it on Tuesday. And blending Neverwinter Nights for fun and... Well, fun. There's really not much of a profit to be made there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Old Man Ven, joined every week by our team Canadian podcaster, you know him, you love him, Mr. Blink Wool himself, uh, one Jordan wow. Sphing, and staying up late past his bedtime as always, Pedro. Hello. Matt, yes, and together with you at home, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Before we get started, we do like to see what's going on in each other's life organs. Man, we've been talking about a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't have a whole lot. I saw uh, Captain Marvel. And kind of like Ant Man, I didn't know the character and whatever, so I walked in. I was like, "Oh no!" Turned out watchable. I recommend seeing it. However, I do gotta go back and throw what I said earlier. Anybody who tells you that you need to see that before you watch Endgame, you don't. There you go. Pro tip from Old Man Vin. What's up, Jay Baby? Oh, not much. I was speaking of movies. I was actually planning on going to see uh, Godzilla. I think either tomorrow or next week. I'm curious to see if that's going to be decent or if it's just going to be more Matthew Broderick complaining about fish. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of fish. I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, very, very uneventful week. I get just really busy at work. What about you, Pedro? Do you have any new laptops you want to show us? <laughs> uh, no, because uh, there's the new Ryzen series coming out and I want to buy one of the eight core ones. Uh, so I'm saving money for that. I did uh well i watched uh series four of lucifer that was all right i mean the way it ended was kind of eh, but yeah i guess did, they're just setting up the possible fifth season who knows did, did lucy have some splitting to do uh, yeah yeah he did <laughs> on multiple occasions <laughs> not to get too deep into that man is this the one that's on netflix now yeah oh, okay I tapped out. That's one of the shows that like started off like, ooh, hard and edgy. And I'm like, oh, procedural crime drama starring Satan. Yeah. No, it's completely uh, crime soap opera now. That, that, huh. It kind of reminds me of that uh, the, the, that one uh, joke from 30 Rock where it's like God cop. It's like, wait, if you're God, why don't you solve the, pro- the problem? <laughs> Let us pray. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Uh, procedural horse each and every week in your face. Yeah, it's 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 almost like it's an entirely different horse every week. It's not like we're replacing it secretly and telling you it's the same one. It's the Steam I I mean, there's Valve has a new thing you can put on your face that Dude, isn't a horse. You could watch mm-hmm. that with your new hot VR. You absolutely oh, yeah. could. Uh, and from Ars Technica, links to all this in our show notes. Uh, Sam Machiavelli. Uh, Spent uh, spent the better part of a week with the uh, pre-release index model. It was very clear to indicate that this is not the final model that will be available for sale, but the last good revision that they're still doing some work on. And uh, it goes on, talks about how, um, gives some background. They're taking some chances with that color scheme, right? Black on black on black on black. (laughs) Um... (laughs) But yeah, uh, and he's also very, um, also very clear to mention that this is not a review, more like an opinion piece. But uh, for the most part, uh, it looks like it's a fairly substantial improvement over the uh, Vive and Vive Pro, uh, with a better field of view, uh, more responsiveness. Don't crank it. Apparently, don't crank everything up to uh, 144 hertz, but 120 hertz is fine. And uh, the the other thing is that the uh, knuckle controllers are actually pretty decent, which was kind of the thing I was looking forward to learning about. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it's it's a marked improvement. And as the guy succinctly puts it, it's the least you would expect for a $1,000 piece of kit if you're thinking of upgrading your VR headset. 
I man, know. I'm just saying, man, you really have to love toasters because that is genuinely to walk in the door on that's nine hundred ninety nine. Now I know you can upgrade bits and bobs of your existing Vive setup and come on, let's face it, anybody who's that much into that wants the whole kit. But yeah, I don't. <sighs> I was like, oh, this is going to be horrible. But something I completely missed, and I, I freely admit it, was the original. I mean, like six people are going to buy these. They sold out. I mean, they were having trouble keeping up with the demand. I don't know if they're going to be able to repeat that with version two, though. I think all those people are like, where's the popcorn? You, you told me we would have sex robots by now. <laughs> and it's like people keep asking it's like okay where are the games because right now there's a bunch of tech demos and whenever a new version of a new vr headset comes out it's like more tech demos hey uh but yeah i guess uh according to this non-review as he as jordan already mentioned and as uh sam mentions in the article like at least four times that i counted uh i guess a thousand dollars is the minimum you're dropping for a vr headset which is supposedly of the best up to now. Although I did like the fact that he said, it's like, oh yeah, if you wear glasses, this one is unquestionably the best one for that. Yeah, because so, it has the, it has like the, the, the eyepieces on a track so you can yeah. actually adjust them for your giant fucking bulbous eyes. Yeah. And the knuckles, yes, they do look very good, but something about my right hand just, it's probably not going to gel with That's that. That's one thing I wanted to bring up. Not your right hand. That thing scares me. Um, put it away. It's the... I can't. It's right there. Put a sock puppet on. <laughs> Cover it with a paper bag. Seriously. Empty. empty. Get this boys of googly eyes. I got an idea. Um, the knuckle controllers look kind of neat. I mean, even outside of like... I was like, I might buy those just to have them. But do you need... Can I guess I'd have to get lighthouses too, though, right? Yeah, uh, the the other thing yeah. too is you can't use the uh, old lighthouses with the new controllers, but you can mm. vice versa. Um, well, yeah. you can use the Vive Pro's wands with the V2 uh, lighthouses, but you can't use the original wands with the V2s. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. What about the magic wands? I, I, well, I, I was, well I, you can I, use that to, with anything to, if to, you're to, brave to, enough. To, <laughs> to the point of your sex robot, I was going to say, that's like the other Knuckles controller. That's like a very different Knuckles controller. <laughs> Hitachi makes it. Um, okay. Moving on, we have a few up, ga uh, up games. Up games, dog. Up games. Up, what, yes. What's up, what's up, what's games? up games? Not much. <laughs> uh, yeah, Brig uh, this is from Rock, Paper, Shotgun. Uh, Brigador Killers is the sequel to Brigador. We threw some chairs at that a while ago. It was a game where you run around and you blow up buildings in a giant robot where the controls were really awkward. And apparently mm -hmm. they have um they have they have listened to us because they have um what the the exact quote was they have fixed the controls for the more directionally challenged players, but um the original controls are still gonna be there as an option. Um and yeah, the the real the real question is, will these guys continue to support Linux? Because um they did they did have a Linux version for the first one, but it seems like it's a recurring theme that sequels like to drop that Linux support uh when they come out. Uh i.e. like yeah. Divinity Original Sin or I don't know, you can pick a million other examples of sequels that didn't come out on Linux. I mean there was that promise of Project Cars 2. It's totally gonna have Linux. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean that uh, was wait, no. In, in all fairness, they didn't say that until after the Kickstarter with Linux as a stretch goal that they met uh -huh. with the first one that they poof smoke bombed on. But when Project Cars 2 came out, they said, listen, once we have this down and we have it working, then we, here's what we're going to do, suckers. I mean, fellow Linux users is we're, we're going to redo the first one using our new engine and the second one. So what the fuck's that at? Boom, smoke bomb. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, yeah, Pedro, no. I hear Project Cars version 3 is gonna no, probably not <laughs> but yeah no with uh with brigador uh i guess it's a good thing that they're addressing the controls i mean it only took them you know an entire sequel to finally admit that not everyone was on board with that and the fact that there was exactly one robot in the first game that was you know that made sense with how you controlled it which was the floaty one yeah hmm. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I kind of agree with Jordan. We see that with like sequels, and we also saw that with um, what was one of the first Proton games that we threw the chairs at, which was a grid-based uh, mech thing. Um, oh, um, uh, into, into the, the breach. breach. Into the breach, man. Because there, because I, I remember that came out, and I was like, okay, we're not getting a Linux version of that. And they're like, no, guys, we're totally working on Linux. I was like, no, you're not. Poof. 
smoke bomb. It I it th- is very much in the white list, so they don't have it's to. It's been <laughs> over a year, I think. Yeah, that, that speaks more. I, than I, I, I I'm 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 not holding my breath. I pl- I play no. most of my, most of that game on the Switch, anyways. So, mm. and that <laughs> game, even over Proton, it works on like intel integrated graphics on reasonably old laptops so because yeah. it's a fucking pixel game pedro it's not like it's, it's open doing gl 3.2 cra- as well <laughs> yeah it it's not it's not it's not doing anything crazy and no no knowing uh knowing subset they're probably going to make like a browser version and that's going to be the linux version this is gonna that's be it like, that's it that's yeah. going to take notes from ea put it in the uh, canonical store they straight up 66 they straight up did it with um uh, go to power what is it Faster than light, but anyways. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, release sixty six for Shroud of the Avatar. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's out. They have some new user experience polish and new starting sequence, which, in my opinion, is a good thing. And oh, they like, themselves. I love the screenshot because that does not reflect anything I've ever seen in this game. Oh no, that that that's, that's completely all, that's all. fake. That amount of post processing. If you would to, if you were to apply that in game, it would go from. 25 FERPs to about 10. Okay. Well, you I see, think George Lucas th- is going to sue one, somebody. We're looking at this. Oh, the like, not okay, KKK. This, yeah, this, this man, Portuguese, uh, dude. Um, Capper, Capper roads. Yeah, the, right. those are cap roads, absolutely, and they, they are totally not the KKK for legal reasons. Now because we're getting they are... closer to what they it looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, those are the pets. They're uh, the uh, new. Uh, the new types of high-level creatures that you can tame, which include teeny tiny little pseudo dragons, and uh, the yeah no, the performance in this game is still crap. Uh, if you've played it at all during early access, it's still just as bad. In fact, it's even gotten worse in some cities because of the player housing. And uh, actually, one of the things that they do uh, that they're doing with this release, which I thought was a very good idea, was removing the pre tutorial thing where you're introduced to everything around the game and not the game itself where well it mostly just feels like it's richard garriott furiously masturbating all over itself that's the whole vibe that that island gave you and they're getting rid of that because they themselves admit that that's when most people were just quitting the game outright so one of the things i found very (laughs) valuable from that initial island is it really quickly told you that this thing runs like poo Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, at least they're trying to put in an effort to stop hemorrhaging players because Trinity the Avatar was one of those games that like or one of those Kickstarters that really, really fucking overpromised and then continually mm-hmm. under delivered because it, 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 it's one of those things where it sounds very, very nice on paper. But then when you go to implement it, especially in Unity 4, you're not going to have mm-hmm. a good time. Oh, it's I, I I keep wanting to try it, but every time and I do try it, I did launch this and like, is this no, this still runs like but Oh no, yeah. and if you there are like the capital city on the map, if you go there, there is a specific street that if you stand there, the frames without moving, without touching the mouse, anything, the frames will drop to single digits. Mm. Yeah. That sounds legit. So, uh, I, I, this is technically gaming news, so we, we get to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> Iron Maiden has filed a lawsuit against the makers of Iron Maiden video game. Yeah, this is a video game. This is the thing, and they're like, yo, $2 million we want from the creators. And you're like, what is that? From the Duke Nukem lot. And they're doing the retro bit, um, you know, 3D realms and all that. And they're like, Let's see how to do this. Uh, nearly identical to the, they say Iron Maiden is almost identical to Iron Maiden trademark in appearance, sound, and overall commercial presence to which the yeah, entirety what? of the internet went fucking <laughs> what, mate? Yeah, right? A hundred percent. Then we can take a look at the, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling Iron Maiden here, man. Jordan or... or <laughs> no, no. What, 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 what I do feel is that crappy Iron Maiden first person shooter that came out like a d- decade and a half ago. I thought that was <laughs> Yeah, I mean that too. I think they did a pinball game or some shit. Here's here, this, this. This is one of these stupid things, right? Because it's 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 trademark law. It's like patent law, but like way fucking dumber. Because they actually that a Iron Maiden would need to do this, otherwise they risk losing their trademark. Number two, it's not even Iron Maiden the band itself. It's the fucking holding company that has the trademark to Iron Maiden who's filing the lawsuit. Because I genuinely doubt that 
fucking Steve Harris, Nico McBrain, Bruce Dickinson give a shit about this. Um, but yeah, and it, ultimately this will be a waste of time. But the the let, let's let's be real though. The people who made the game knew what the fuck they were doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah. They're, they're, there, there, there's a there, there's a popular band out there called Iron Maiden. I'm gonna name are you gonna game Ion Maiden? Yeah, so I made that fucking mistake the first time I heard about that game. This is so you know uh, you were saying in the pre-show. I, was like, I remember when we first covered this because this is a Linux game. Uh, hopefully it will be. And it still is. It's an early access, but it there's still Linux. You know, I think we all have a habit of saying you know when something's a little too similar. I was like, oh, you know, fill in the blanks, gonna sue somebody and. Mm-hmm. Here we are, which, you know, do they really have a case as to what Jordan said? I absolutely do not believe they do. Maybe, maybe they just drastically, I think this maybe is something that should be handled like, hey, let's work out a deal right quick before we get legal involved, because this is going to be two sets of lawyers milking this out as long as humanly possible. Mm -hmm. But, you know, even if they're, they're hundred percent right. You know, they're like, yeah, maybe we could say parody. I don't even think it's to the point where they would have to use a parody defense because it's like this is a fucking 3D video game. This is, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There's not going to be I, brand so, confusion. I don't think see that I, they're going to be able to establish that. I think, I think the the main reason they're doing this now is because they are they're they've developed or they've released like an Iron Maiden mobile game. Mm-hmm. And I think they're trying to they're trying to like ensure that that retains its market presence because you know that's what that's what people really want they really want I, <laughs> yeah they want to play presence. Iron Maiden on their on their on their cell phones oh, I mean, play Iron Maiden on my cell phone albums but oh, I like, thought you were talking about it's the name of an Eddie Clicker <laughs> yeah Eddie, Eddie, yeah <laughs> super, super super Eddie Clicker yeah but yeah is this uh, run, run, Iron Maiden the last hurrah in some desperate attempt to remind people or you know introduce themselves to the kids. As it Hell were, no. Oh no! Because no. uh-uh. if it is, they picked the wrong fucking game. <laughs> well, this is what I was talking about. I mean, regardless, <laughs> no one wins in this. I we're gonna win because this is not gonna be the last time we get to talk about this. Mainly because mm-hmm. you're going to have the, the metal fan base, Iron Maiden's fan base, and I'm not grooving and all metal and all that. Sorry, I got your back, fam. With the entirety of the gaming community, that shit storm's gonna break out. So. Get oh, your popcorn and you, ready. You know, you know who else is gonna win? The lawyers. They're oh, gonna yeah. be rolling in it. Oh yeah, yeah. money. <laughs> mm. So Pedro, you threw some of this in our face Tuesday, and yes, uh, I did. I don't think you had too bad a time with it. No, I did not, because well, uh, you know, let's just get the obvious out of the way. It's Weebus Dungeon. I mean, uh, Vambrace Cold Soul, uh, and it plays exactly like Darkest Dungeon. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, did you say plays or looks? Uh, yes. Okay. The, <laughs> uh, but it has less of a feeling that you will completely fuck yourself over whenever you do something the game outright expects you to do, because that will happen in Darkest Dungeon. The game will actively punish you for trying to play it. But this one, it's a bit more forgiving. It it'll still knock you on your ass if you so much as you know do something that's not optimal, but it feels a bit more forgiving in the way that it does it. So if you thought that Darkest Dungeon was too difficult and maybe you wanted some more of a story behind it and you're into the weep shit, yeah, this is absolutely your jam. Jordan, you gotta answer me, man. Do you look for weep shit into, like, your Darkest Dungeons? Such thing? Honestly, honestly, like, I, I can I can go either way with the weeb shit. But like it definitely does look like it could be up my alley, uh, especially with the design DNA looking as solid as it does. Yeah, I mean it, it's basically Babby's first Darkest Dungeon. I'm I'm cool with that. I like mm-hmm. I personally like the punishing nature of Darkest Dungeon mm-hmm. because it makes you feel something. It it's it's like it's like speedrunners. It, speedrunners doesn't make you feel good. It makes you feel like you're gonna die. <laughs> and Darkest Dungeon is very much the same way. No other media will do that to you. It's just mm-hmm. like give you the sensation of the life actually draining from your body actively as you play. But it looks very, very competently done. I, I remember it watching is. you and Sandy playing Darkest Dungeons, which I enjoyed, even though it's not my type of game. It's got enough depth to it mm-hmm. to where there's a fighting chance to overcome the RNG bullshit. And I watched Pedro play this and I, I was like, okay, this this is like, to me, and I, this is not my genre of gaming. It really looked like, wait a minute, is that, I, is that like from the same art director or? It's like, yeah, the, the, <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're definitely cribbing quite a bit. They're, they're, they're definitely trying to do like a distinct identity 
thing with like the 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 anime and the cat girls and the dark mm-hmm. elves and like you can you can pick your favorite waifu and run them through the dungeon and watch <laughs> as they fucking die horribly but, and then okay here's what is, is it done with more of a sense of humor to it no no oh. no 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 uh, see they're trying to tell a story and they will throw some humor here and there but they're very much taking the story seriously mm-hmm. which yeah could be yeah. Better, but hey, it's a story about a yeah. girl that has a cursed vam brace on her hand, and she needs to use it to get so, through at the, the end wall of the day, of it's, I, it's, 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 basically, it's basically the quality of storytelling <laughs> that you'd find in something like, say, Felseal. In that yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, to put a bow on it, it's currently twenty-two bucks. It's on sale. I mean, it doesn't look like a bad game. It's clearly competently done. I mean, it's not like oh, this wasn't. I mean, it's cooked. If that's your thing, and you know, a vam brace is always better than a cursed neck brace. Right? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I, 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 don't, I don't know that. I don't know. You, you're always like that. Cursed like, trigger. I always wanted a cursed neck brace, but um, <laughs> hey. It's, it's, on, it's on my Amazon wish list. So. <laughs> More on that at 11. We're not done with turn-based card bullshit. No, we're not. Uh, we got uh, SteamWorld Quest Hand of Gilgamech. Uh, I, lo- I look forward to its uh, <laughs> sequel, Foot of Enkindroid. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it's basically... if. Spe- speaking about fantasy games that rip off other fantasy games, this is basically Slay the Spire, but it's done with the Steam yep. World franchise. Uh, so if maybe Slay the Spire didn't really appeal to you all that much, but you're super into Steam World and all the various other Steam World games, this might be up your alley if you're into a sort of deck building, dungeon crawly game. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, and the reviews are pretty good. I mean, if they if they have the if they have like a solid card mechanic, then that's pretty much all they need. Um, yeah. yeah, and that's the thing uh, about Slate Aspire. It was that you could play the game with having a massive deck with a bunch of stuff to give you a bunch of different options to deal with enemies. Say or you could literally deck again. massive deck. All right, <laughs> uh, or you could have no, no, no. A... Say, it, say it again slower, mm-hmm. more sexily. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> um, Do it again. You could also have a deck of like five cards that you would always be drawing the exact same five cards and always casting them every single turn so you would always have the winning hand and if this game can accomplish that kind of depth with the very simple mechanics that Slate Aspire has I think it's a winner <laughs> uh, I liked SteamWorld Dig that came out that was one of the early um, not like, but yeah like definitely second round third, of third, third, third or fourth humble I think yeah. Yeah. This is like, I have more. I could play some more. Oh, nope. Uh-uh. Psh, uh, that's my sound to make what I see uh, turn based strategy games. It's weird when I'm in public, man. Trust me. Uh, I, I was going to say, you also make that same noise when you step on stray nails and you start deflating. So, man, you got to watch out. Nails are shifty like that. Uh, yeah. Up next, uh, Super Cane Magic. I know. And, and just in all fairness, 100%, you know, this is not a game about. Uh, capital punishment in thailand no I, I, no I, it is I, not it i thought it was gonna be uh, a different kind of cane magic in my <laughs> meeting it's a uh, local multiplayer only uh nuclear throne type of thing that's very cutesy and uh it seems more arena based than um it looks like it was made in flash yes yes it does <laughs> but yeah it's uh it's clearly been thought or designed to work hey man i gotta give him I, I gotta give him respect for the studio name yeah studio <laughs> just evil. straight up yeah, studio evil <laughs> right 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 on the front man it's like all right and it, yeah it is very cutesy there is a bit of a story in there somewhere and they say that there's like 15 different Please. playable characters uh but yeah it's it's nuclear throne but cutesy i guess <laughs> once again, once again, we 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 find ourselves an example of another game that doesn't follow the fucking multi multiplayer mantra. Do you have local multiplayer? You should have network multiplayer. End yeah. of discussion. Listen, man, <laughs> you, network multiplayer is hard. It took Super Tux Card <laughs> ten years, so <laughs> dude, you got to check out the additional notes on Brad though. Check this out: Linux compatible keyboard and mouse or controller required. You can all right. Uh, I, I I don't I don't know. I'm pressing these buttons and nothing's happening. Challenge accepted. Somebody bring me a non Linux compatible keyboard. Yeah. Period. I, I want to <laughs> see it. I, I, oh no! I I I. I who actually no? I was I was I was gonna say like that fucked up GameCube controller that had like the full QWERTY keyboard on it. 
That was like a Logitech keyboard with the like GameCube wait, controller wait on the minute. side. Wait, wait, of course, I wouldn't. Uh, the GameCube. Yeah, that's GameCube. Like the, the GameCube. Cuba. 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 It's only like three quarters of a square. It's like a square and some <laughs> random shit on one quarter. No, it's, it's not a cube. It's not even a cube. It's a rectangular prism. No, it's shit. a cube that couldn't find the Q, so it's just a cube. <laughs> All right, um, bite drive. Man, Pedro, you, you go ahead and open this because you got a better take on it right there. I was going. So uh, I don't. Did you ever? Lines. Did you ever feel like uh, Horizon Chase Turbo's cars just looked way too substantial? Twice, one time on a Tuesday. Well, then bike drivers the game for you because they're all very um see through. Dude, this this is old school <laughs> vector Atari shit, man. It feels yeah. like I should be at a um, spaceship <laughs> like, in the '80s. I, it's I'm, not I'm, accurate, I'm expecting though. it that, to be uh, like... That frame rate is way too fast. Man, listen. <laughs> you, you, you remember the Vectrix? <laughs> this is usually the same principle, like withdrawing this with the cathode ray tube. But, I mean, like, this was like 85, 86. It was a better time. Jordan wasn't born yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I, mean, it, it, I was all, only 80, born 80, in 86, so... <laughs> yeah, 8, 8, 89 is when it all went to shit. <laughs> This I I like the style. It's like, oh man, you know, you could get this effect by playing a hipster pixel game with like cool retro turn. Possibly it's seven ninety nine. I wanted to give it a shout out, but do we have any? No, no multiplayer. Boo! Uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they seem to be going for the arcadey vibe, and like, yeah, the gameplay it's it's got the hacking and the dodging the mines and doing stuff. So, uh, so, so how, it is a bit well more involved. You? How, how well can you type and drive, Pedro? Yes. Dude, mobile phone. I haven't phones, tried man. yet. <laughs> and I don't really have a car here, so... yeah. You've never typed and drove, <laughs> allegedly? Uh, no, not even allegedly. <laughs> man, you know, sometimes I'm trying to drive and I'm like, I got that full keyboard right here. <laughs> yeah, the, the, you got yeah, the, the full the, the, 104 the, the, key keyboard on your lap. No, it's, it's, even... it's, it's, it's the IBM Model M that you just have plugged into the dash. <laughs> Fucker, it's an addiction. It's not even plugged into anything. I'm just like, I just need to type. <laughs> could could, could See, you imagine... I like to play racing games with a keyboard, but let's not go that far. <laughs> could, could, could you actually imagine they're manufacturing a car that you could drive with WASD? <laughs> Could you imagine that? Oh man, we got a new weekend project. <laughs> can, can you can you hack Turbo Jetta to respond to drive via was <laughs> Local man reported missing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> after uh, he hit the, the W key. Co 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 coming up next, if you want to see what will happen if Ven tries to install a mechanical keyboard into Alt a Jetta, Ford. you. You, you <laughs> That's a show title. Um, yeah, you, well, we're we're gonna we're gonna tell you how to fund our ability to do that. Coming up next. Well, it's certainly been a while, but uh, Nvidia has finally released something. But we'll get right to that. Before we do, we'd like to send out a big, big load of. Warm thank yous to every Listen, man, one of all, you. All, all I'm saying is this, man. If somebody's sitting around like a little bit constipated, you're not helping them out. I didn't think I was supposed to be, but okay. I mean, the, the, it, it brings it brings a new meaning to the term data wipe. Am I right? Anyways, <laughs> you can uh, you can head on over to uh, linksgamecast.com if you want to support this nonsense, like a bunch of the other crazy people who <laughs> go there expecting I, I don't like, know a, 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 no a damn good time. Into this, and I was right. Like, <laughs> there, 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 there's no way to do it. Just got just got to power through it. Yeah, uh, but if you if you go to that if you go to that one button that Ven's hovering over. Um, you can you can ha check out the uh, Amazon store page that we have, where you can get a full comprehensive list of everything, everything that almost, we're using in almost here. Almost everything, almost? because yeah, uh, out of the three of us, one person hasn't sent me dick. That's you, Jordan. Okay, I don't I don't I don't want I don't want people to know what I'm using. I'm ashamed of it. It's 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 dirty, and you should you shouldn't you shouldn't regard it in it's any a, way. It's shape, just or a bunch form. of Mac. Oh, that that'd be a cruel joke. Oh PCs no, yeah. is just straight Max. Oh no, the, 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 these are these are all Windows PCs. Uh, all all Dells, all Dells, all Dells. Uh, all Dells. There's 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 also some other links you can follow to uh, something like a like a like a Newegg affiliate link. Or a, yeah, we got affiliate links for Newegg and stuff like that. Go check those. Yeah. I want to thank everybody who's shopping with those. Uh, but. Uh, we got wish zones for everyone. We got one for the studio. Yeah. 
We got one for Jordan, and we got one for Pedro. And Pedro, you got something this week. Therefore, oh, you yes. are legally yes, required to read it. Ooh. I am. Uh, so uh, thank you very much, Strider. And Strider says, for a totally sick RBG, not RGB, uh, VapeFX from Matthew. So yes, uh, Strider decided, you know what? You need to spruce up your life with some RBGs. And there's five meters of uh, RBGs right here. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, at least he didn't send you five meters of RPGs. Otherwise, we'd having be having this conversation <laughs> from an entirely different location. Um, no, right? But spe- speaking uh, speaking of buying stuff, you can buy some of our merchandise through our store store at linksgamecast.com. We got some brand new T-shirts for you guys, starring our lovely faces, and some uh, new weekly Daily Wednesday uh, spoiler shirts. We'll find out about that next Wednesday. Ooh, what? Look at that. Spoiler shirts? What are you talking about? You mean the Spoiler ones that's shirt? like right They're here? Classic shirts. This one? Are, are, these, are, these, <laughs> are these the classic shirts? I don't I don't I don't know. Hey man. I, 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 I was thinking more about the, the, the blendery booze, but anyways. Um <laughs> Yeah, you can't put 3D animations on t-shirts. Yet. We yes. tried. We yes. tried. Yes. This is dangerous thing. Soon. <laughs> Been meaning to do that for a while. We're finding it around to it, but we do have the Link Scheme cast. That's the one with our three mugs on it. It's kind of terrifying. But if that's your jam, it's there. And, you know, we you were kind of joking in the pre-show, uh, not pre-show, but uh, uh, during the show last week, but it was like, hey, man, we'll make a Jordan dress and put Jordan's face all over it. And Jordan's like, I'm down with that. And I was like, all right. Oh, yeah. Challenge accepted. You know what? <laughs> It, it, we'll go even further with it if we can, you, 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 you could have a dress that is just my body I, I, will, I will make a Jordan dress if we can get I don't know what 10 we sell sure. 10 of these things yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you, 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 you two can draw me like one of your French girls if we do 20 <laughs> I'll wear the fucking dress how about that Ooh, sexy <laughs> I'm I don't know. It's good merchandise. We're not trying to screw you on price. That's why they're low. And, you know, every t shirt place is like, oh, it's 25, 26 bucks. And, like, we're not trying to make money off this. We're just like, hey, man, here's some merch if you want to wear it. If you're going to be that cool, go for it. It's awesome. You, 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 yep. know, you know what else is sexy, though? <laughs> nope. All, 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 all the pe- people who give us money week after week from patreon.com slash. You mean support the show? <laughs> yes i guess we can i guess we can say that now <laughs> we're, we're, we're 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 allowed to head on over to patreon.com slash linux gamecast give us some money you get some cool stuff for turn like access to our discord channel or invites to game streams when we do them or you can uh, get access to the show notes which is pretty neat because you can see the show coalesce and become this greasy orb of content that you stick in your ears every weekend uh there's also there's also an extra hour of lgc goodness if that's your jam with the pre pre super chosen you should check that out it's where we seinfeld our way through life it's pretty interesting i mean if you <laughs> want to see behind the scenes what's going on what we got planned and any ideas like that stuff that uh, you know arguably said that shouldn't be public on the internet it's kind of public uh but do come say hello in the discord that is where we're at the other six days of the week hanging out doing the things i do want to say Fubar is going to be back with Jackbox this week. So if you want to play the home game, uh, keep an eye out there because I'm going to put a post up on Patreon. We're going to do a little sign-up sheet like we normally do because we have a gang of people that like to show up. But you can play at home um, with your app or whatever. You don't have to be on like their little voice chat if you don't want to be. We'd you love to have you. don't need to buy the game, unlike Scott Michaud. Super hot. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I almost, Who has to buy the game to play? I had to wrestle with myself because I typed that and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> but how do I play Jack? No, this this was the thing. I was like, Scott's been Scott's been hanging out long enough. I was like, does he get the fact that I'm just my first <laughs> gut reaction is to fuck with you? And to see where it rolls, I was like, maybe not. I didn't want you buying like six copies of games, Scott. I love you too much for that, buddy. All right. So, uh, sp- speak, speaking of uh, 45 frames of fury. Dude. Okay. Oh. Finally. The. They're, they're taking my thunder in video because I've been giving them shit for two solid months because this thing was supposed to be out <laughs> two months ago. What are you talking about? We're talking about Quake 2 RTX available on that operating system, whatever, and Linux on June 6th. Yep. They announced it way back when, like two months ago. And they, you know, there was the uh, Vulcan Quake 2 that was made by an intern. They're like, hey, man, we can cast some rays and all this fun stuff. And I put a video up. It worked on my 2060 at like a whopping 45 frames a second at 1080p. But NVIDIA got a hold to it. Put some, you know, squeezy sauce on it. Some mayo ketchup or whatever the hell Jordan had. May, 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 mayo <laughs> chup. Oh, that horrifying stuff. <laughs> it's going to have multiplayer. All this. They redid the lighting. I mean, it looks legit. 
It's kind of brilliant. And it's going to be open source and completely free. So I'm going to try it. And I think one of the important things is this is everyone can play it with an NVIDIA card. To, to varying degrees of success. Right. If Even you have if you, a 10 series or higher, yes. You you too. I mean, if you don't have the RTX cores, you too can participate in the slideshow. Trust me, on the 2060, it's a slideshow too. It's not like I'm getting away with anything. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Just because uh, I think, like I will legit probably, in order to enjoy myself with it, unless they've done some, because let's face it, the first one was just a straight tech demo. I was like, let's see if this is doable. If they tune this thing to the point to where you can play it at 60 firms at 1080p. Like I'm willing to play it at 720p even just to like look at it and replay it. Cause I haven't played quick two since like you two were it came, four it came out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I so, was so, like 13 when it came out, but whatever. I, 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 uh, I was, was going to say, so, that, so, so the last time you played it, I was going to say the last time you played it was yesterday. <laughs> I, I didn't say emotional age, Jordan. <laughs> but yeah, I look forward to the 14, possibly 15 frames per second I'll get on the 1080. I'm, so, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking June forward 6th. to the 20, possibly 22 frames a second I'm going to get on the 1080 Ti. So. <laughs> One thing we're going to do for you, um, all the beautiful people at home, if you're curious, because I have the 2060, Pedro has the 1080, and Jordan has 1080 Ti, so we're going to time demo and record that and give you a three-way giggity of uh, just a smorgasbord of equally craptastic performance. <laughs> it's it's going to be crap, slightly it's less crap, and slightly less it's crap. It's going to be just that. like watching this show. <laughs> exactly, but with, right. with more quake. Pretty much, and yeah. Yeah. Anyways, oh my god, it's finally here for the umpteenth millionth time. They've been announcing this for a while, but now this is it's it's a real boy. That's the Unity editor for Linux. After being in, you know, an unstable thing where you had to go download it off a forum post, you can now mm -hmm. get it through official channels. And like we covered the last time, it's gonna be supporting uh, the LT the last two, not the current LTS, but the last two LTSs for Ubuntu and CentOS 7, which is kind of the rest of the world's LTS. Um, <laughs> oh, it supports 18.04. That's the yeah, it's 18.04 and 1604. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's um, it's available in a preview state so you can uh get it up and running. Yeah, then you 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 too noticed that like the demand for this didn't really come from a lot of game no, developers. They're like, uh, even in their blog posts, they straight up like, yeah, we, we've got a lot of requests from like engineering companies and stuff like that, which are using Unity for modeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is which is a valid thing like uh the godot project actually made a bunch of changes specifically to support people using their engine for you know just doing 3d work mm -hmm. um yeah so you know the, the companies that do actual work and not game programming uh require a tool to work on linux how about that uh it's good to see though that is a real boy product or a preview of one either way it's gonna stop being a curiosity it hopefully hopefully it'll get people who are just Staying on under Windows just for their Unity development environment to uh, hop on over. I'm curious how um, I'm curious how um, well this thing will produce Linux and Mac binary or not uh, Windows and Mac binaries rather. Yeah. Um, well, they do make a point. They're like, make sure your plugins are going to be compatible. Like anyone's just going to blindly jump ship. But I do like this mm -hmm. being official because it's one less excuse from like, well, it's not officially supported, so I don't know about Linux. Like, damn it. Um, hang Unreal. on. I'll be, give me a minute. I'll find a new excuse. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, indeed, you uh, gotta, gotta I, go down to the excuse store. Yeah, much, I do sure want go to down hear. To the Linux store. I want to hear which excuse the developers of Risk of Rain for Risk of Rain 2, because it's, it's fucking Unity. What their excuse is going to be to not have a Linux version out. Well, Pedro, I watch Linux Gamecast, and it's too toxic. That's why. Oh, we're toxic. Okay. <laughs> Just like Britney Spears. I mean, that's the excuse that uh, Linux underscore gaming gave. So Listen, nah. dude, there's like toxicity. <laughs> I've, I've seen toxicity. I don't know, man. Anybody who's arguing with don't no, care. No toxicity, no buxicity? Toxicity, baby. The toxicity of our city. <laughs> Dis hey, that's brilliant. Disorder. Disorder. <laughs> this All is right, good uh, news. <laughs> uh, Endless Sky. Uh, it's an asteroid-style game that sort of takes after Privateer or that sort of era of Wing Commander game. Shit. Uh, Toxoplasmosis. They have, they, 
Toxoplasma <laughs> gondolae from handling too much penguin shit. Yeah. Yes. Anyways, uh, not 99. The unstable release for uh, Endless Sky is out available for your consumption. Uh, you can, if you're under Linux and you're not running Ubuntu, you got to build it yourself, which means you have to break out my old best friend, Scons. Mm. Um, it definitely, it definitely, it does build and run though. Um, however, uh, with the tiny little asteroids view, cause you have like the itty bitty ship that you move around the star field, go in full screen on a UHD monitor. It's very, very hard to see what the fuck is actually happening, but mm-hmm. it comes with some brand new improvements. Like, uh, most, mostly just in-game stuff, um, like, uh, physics engine optimization. You can now actually hit cloaked ships with like physical projectiles. Finally. There's new, sh- there's new ships, it's asteroid have scanners. A yeah. <laughs> An asteroid potato in your tailpipe. Start tailpipe. I don't know. Uh, they have a news feature in the spaceport, just like we have a news feature in our spaceport. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Alex Gamecast is 100% of spaceport. It's like he's no space look nine. at our spaceport. It's he very shocked and self retarded. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Out. Spaceport hashtag Sp- potato port. I don't know, man. <laughs> man. Either, either, either way, uh, it's out available for your consumption. It is one of those MMO games where, like, most of the people playing it just play this game, and yeah. you're going to have a hard time PvPing people not getting murked out of the starting oh, area. Yeah. But, you know, if you if this is your type good, of game, good, if scrub. you're a big fan of, uh, like, Privateer or anything like that, give, give, give it a look. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You just got to install scones. Mm. There, are worse, <laughs> there are worse prices to pay. Yeah, it's no ninja. Code blocks. Hey, man. Something I'm a little excited about is version 9.12. Cool looking blue frog. What are we talking about? That's right. We're talking about D9 VK. And uh, Joshua writes, hey, man, I'm happy and pleased to announce uh, for all you froggos out there. I hope you enjoy it. Improved performance. And there's a gang of new features mm-hmm. in this. Refract- I love seeing refactored. I'm like, hmm, that means faster. Sometimes that does. I don't know. Sometimes it just means breakage. <laughs> this, this is also true. Uh, Refactoring VSync, yeah. If you're Shit's wondering what's going on with this, you're like, I don't understand. I thought the DXVK is this competing. No, uh, this is going to convert your uh, D Direct 3D nine calls into Vulcan, so you get rid of that single core hotness that you run into games. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about Bayonetta, basically. And yeah, I'm. I, I want this to be a thing. I don't know that one person that listens to the show at Valve. Or like, however this has to happen, get this in. I, I know the the t- current talk right now is this is eventually going to get merged into DXVK, which then will find its way into Proton. That would, that would actually be kind of cool if like they, yeah. they forked the project and then re-merged it back in. But like 100% though, like, like you said, this is going to turn into like a Super Tux cart versus Super Tux thing for me where I'm going to just get confused. Like, didn't we just talk about a release about this? <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, the resolve Z, uh, thing is being included. Now you get, you can get some, uh, you can get some fixed hair in final fantasy, some Roman numeral, they say, you know, <laughs> final fantasy VI Adrian's revenge. Um, yeah, no, but it, it's good that they're making some progress. I'm still not sure if these guys are getting some, uh, secret back channel funding from uh, big Papa Gabe, but... dude, it, it's straight shrug emoji with them right now. Like, we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, maybe, no, or I maybe they're on, expecting. I to? think on the reddits, they, they actually, one of the, uh, or maybe the person involved is said not yet. Not yet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dot, there dot, you go. The, Which, they're expecting to. Well, that could be like uh, the contract's not signed yet. But, you know. Yeah, or, or we're under NDA and can't comment about it. Yeah, so, not yet. But, uh, I very much look forward to playing older games that use DirectX 9 and not pegging the one thread at 100% and not using the rest of the CPU. Yeah, very much looking I, forward to that. I, I just love that no matter, even even if you as a company co out and say that we're not going to support Vulcan, the whole next community has been like, fuck that, no, you're going to be on Vulcan. Done. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Once this is done, this is like reasonably baked and just kind of in a maintenance mode, then, then the real work can start with um, Glide to Vulcan. Oh, we're 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 gonna get like everything to Vulcan. Mm-hmm. The, the this this is the way the winds are blowing. It'll be brilliant. We're gonna get a Vulcan oh, oh. NES emulator. Mm-hmm. Yep. The X twelve baby. All the way. Double down. Microsoft. Uh, but don't, don't worry. Don't worry. You can you can run it via DX three D or whatever that thing's called. All right. Uh, uh, we got weeb shit mixed with Rhino Human Dragon suit guy. It's, I believe they're Chinese. Uh, it's Artix Entertainment. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a game launcher for the Artix games. That's 
that's all it is. And if you don't know what the hell a Artex game is, chances are you've probably seen Adventure Quest, one of them, or really any of these games, at least on a screenshot once that one time or that time you caught yourself looking at really weird games on YouTube. Uh, because they've been around for a while, since back in the old Flash days, and I'm pretty sure I played Adventure Quest. But then again, I mean, I, it could have been any of them because they all look right. very similar. <laughs> right. Also, also, if you if you scroll to the, the top of that web page, I'm 100% sure that is a red Pikachu on that page. <laughs> Nintendo's going to sue somebody. Um, How so dare I, I, you? I, Nintendo is not a litigious That's a group. Pichu, not a Pikachu. Look at the ears. <laughs> uh, no, that 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 face is 100% Pikachu face. Uh, <laughs> anyways, it comes in a handy dandy app image, image, and it runs. And I don't really know what the fucking Artrex is, but they seem to make primarily like mobile and browser based flash games. Game game says in the show notes, um, and it does let you run it under Linux. Um, though most most of these games you end up do having to play in your browser using some Shockwave plugin. So I'm pretty sure that launcher is just like a version of Chrome, a sufficiently old version of Chrome that supports Flash. And we'll actually yeah. let you run these games, but you know it's a thing. Uh, Pepper Flash. <laughs> I, I have no idea what it is. I am along for the ride on this story. Like, uh, okay. Look, uh, yeah, it, it uh, had uh, a uh, Linux uh, version, so it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I remember seeing ads for games like this on Newgrounds that would take you to a site that wasn't Newgrounds to play games. <laughs> Let's talk about Blender. No, that's right. Can we talk about here. Blender? I like yes, Blender. we can talk about Blender, right. and we can talk Mr. about using. <laughs> we can talk about uh, using Blender for uh, Neverwinter Nights, which for some reason the link has disappeared from the show notes. Uh, it's a uh, certain uh, dude I found because I'm a part of the Neverwinter Nights, an official community group on uh, Facebook. And a dude there has Ew. been posting for a while. Yeah, has been posting for a while about uh, the work that he's been doing using blender and actually um making new character mod uh, models new items new like terrain uh maps and everything else in blender and now he's gone like look i put everything on a website here it is and you can just go there and there's a bunch of videos uh some of them were done by that very same dude. Uh, others were done by the Blender community. He decided to include some of the Blender official videos in there as well. And yeah, it's the Neverwinter Nights modding community still being very much active and still making new stuff for the game. That's that's awesome. Well, uh, th th that's, that's one of those consequences of like Neverwinter Nights being one of those games in the late 90s, early 2000s that actually shipped the tools that the developer used to make yep. the game with the game. Monsters. Except if you were, except you were for, <laughs> if you were on Linux, they didn't. Those make should that have board. been you DLC. Know, <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, so as such, the modding community for it will never, ever, ever, ever die. Um, and yeah, it's nice that there are a set of tutorials that it teach you how to use like uh, the Never Never Blend, the plugin that allows you to export Blender models to a Neverwinter Nights compatible format. Um, MDLs. To, <laughs> yep, to uh, to make your own fan made Dance with Rogue sequels with all the pixelated nipples that you could ever ever want. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of I saw that and it's Blender. I'm like, it's a, it's Blender. Who needs instruction videos to figure out that? All right, you kind of do. Um, three hour, three hours <laughs> later for a five minute video or five second video, dude. It's <laughs> yeah, I go through that maybe once, sometimes twice a year, where you have to relearn everything about Blender to get up to speed to do the thing you want to do. Then your brain, as I can only assume, is a defense mechanism, just poof, gets that right out of there. And Blender has come a long way from like two thousand. Uh, but it still has a like really interface. There's two or three things. So like, e even saving something is like, where are we going to put the save button? Upper right hand corner, because that's where save buttons go. Okay. Um, <laughs> right, right next to close. <laughs> With, no one uh, will ever make that mistake. Closes right under it. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. No, no one's ever going to make that mistake. Might have right? made that mistake and went motherfucker. Uh, anyway. Blender is an awesome piece of software. It does take a bit to get your head around. And I look for, I mean, there might be some dancing or something like that, but you know, no, because of the internet, there's probably going to be some poles involved. Indeed. Oh, they've made mods for everything when it comes to Neverwinter Nights. Mm -hmm. And there are, there are like 90 different ways to get this running under Linux now. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, go, go, go. You don't go, need to have, go, go through fun. those 27 steps I posted on Linux Game Cast. You, 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 you can just go to Lutris.net and click on the installer and point it at your GOG installer. Or you could get the enhanced edition. Alt F pull. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just going to slam on control alt delete until we, we land somewhere sensible. Coming up next, we're throwing chairs at Vikings, Wolves of Midgard, and we find out if it creates even more folders under Pedro's home directory that he will then rage against. Welcome back to the chair QA position dun, dun, dun. where the accused must survive trial by Fedora, Solus, and also Fedorf. And then, <laughs> and only then, can the question be asked, was it fun? This week, we're taking a look at Vikings, Wolves of Midgard, built by the Game Farm on Unity Engine. Uh, what is it? Vikings, Wolves of Midgard takes you to the shore of Miz- shores of Misgard, of Misgard, a world Old based Misgard. on the mythology of and, Vi- and history of Vikings, of that. but with a fantasy <laughs> twist. Um, yeah, uh, we bought this game with our, well, I bought this game from, with uh, my own money. Did you guys get it in a bundle or something? Or oh, uh, I got yes. it in a bundle. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, picked that up. Hope it, I, I picked it up originally hoping to, uh, get some multiplayer done, but, uh, yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, then how'd, how'd, how'd that work on, uh, Fedorf? Oh man. All right. So over here, uh, on Fedorf 30 on the Threadripper, uh, 32 gigajoules RAM and VME, all that fun stuff. And, uh, 2060. Ran fun. Didn't have any issues with it. I was very impressed on the techno of just launching, running smoothly. And by smoothly, I mean, you know, 80-something FURPS at uh, 2160p, which it's like, all right, go a little video encoder. You can do it. Didn't test it on 1080 because of that. No glitches and everything looks right. Now, I'm not going to say it looks 2999 all right because this thing's got a price tag on it. But you kind of get my point. The only place it really fail on a technical aspect, and I got to ding it, is it absolutely fails to capture my mouse gerbil. And this is a problem. When you literally have a monitor on all sides, up, down, left, and right of your screen, almost making it unplayable. And oh, hey, hard-coded DS4 buttons. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, But outside of that, uh, I'll give it uh, three chairs on Mix with the Work. Yeah, on Fedora 30 uh, with the i7 6700K GTX 1080 Ti. Does it launch? Yeah, it does launch. However, when you try to get into a multiplayer game, uh, it's not really working there, Brad. So considering this is one of the main reasons why one might buy this game, I think that's worth the chair getting dinged. Performance-wise, yeah, um, it holds 160 FPS plus on the 1080 Ti at 1080p. It's pretty decent. I didn't play it at UHD because, you know, Unity. Graphics, they're all right. Nothing looks, like, overly fucky. Looks about bog-standard Diablo fare. Control-wise, Hey, native DualShock button prompts makes me very happy having one of one of these guys, but uh, I, guess, I guess I'm one. I'm in a minority here, maybe not. Um, yeah, I'll give it. I will give it three chairs for the functional portion of this chair acquisition. What about you, Pedro? How's, how's it on Solus? Uh, apparently, two out of three is a minority. Shit. Look at Team Over I here. got a DS. I'm not. I'm not spending sixty dollars <laughs> on a fucking controller at a print. <laughs> Uh, no, Nathan gave this one to me. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, the uh, no. Uh, one of the things I noticed is that this game drops a GOG.com folder, and you guessed it, it has fuck all Here in it. Here we go it, again. Well, GOG. Oh again. If you actually go into the folder, there's like three folders deep, and there's fucking nothing in it. Uh, the I wonder if the reason that multiplayer doesn't work is because they tied it to GOG Galaxy, and that's why it spawns that stupid folder. Uh, the performance. Uh, in the first area with like the ice bits, I was getting like 120, 130 FERPs. Then I got to the very first boss of that area, it's like, oh, we're down to 100, okay? And then I got to the second area, it's like, now we're down to 65 with, you know, UHD with everything on Ultra. It's like, okay, 65 it is. Uh, but I could actually hear the fans on the 1080 ramping up, so it was making use of the GPU, so. And the graphics, they look all right. They actually look pretty good. If I had to find just one pi- uh, one nit to pick, is that uh, let me spin the goddamn camera? I know you're trying to be Diablo, but come on. And the controls, yeah, the mouse controls, they feel a bit sticky. It's like the character has trouble not attacking the whole environment unless you click somewhere that's, you know, half a screen away. So, yeah, for me, it gets three chairs because that stupid folder. Oh, yeah, P- Pedro's very sensitive about this. Anyways. Uh, how about, how about fun, Ven? Did you have fun pointing and clicking? Okay, uh, here's, uh, 
the the game has a nanny bar. It it does. Mm -hmm. And for the vast majority of you at home, that's all you needed to hear. You've already tapped the nope button. You're like, nope, I'm out and I'm right there with you. I'm right behind you. On top of that, this nanny bar uh, gauges how cold your fuck mothering Viking is. Yeah, you can get proper fucked game. Seriously, how cold my Viking is? Because, you know, when was the last time you heard uh, a Viking bitching about, of all things, being cold? Hmm, just saying. I could have believed I needed, you know, give me like a, I need to poop meter before uh, the Norseman is a wee bit chilly meter. I mean, I'm not down with that. Then again, then again, they might not be proper Vikings, since the voice talent uh, is kind of all over the place in this game. I legitimately quit paying attention when the dude from North London showed up. And I was like, all right, that's the thing. Maybe I shouldn't uh, judge it on that. Lots I of can, places have a North. I, yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> I, I can overlook all that nonsense in an ARGP if it's fun. And, well, in single player, it kind of comes across as a bit clunky. Like, it was 80% finished. Uh, you know, more than half-baked, 100%. But it was shipped a little too soon. Uh, I was kind of hoping... Like Jordan for some online multiplayer shenanigans, but that just doesn't work. It's been tried. I didn't waste my time with it on Linux, and that's a damn shame. I'm kind of curious if the uh, Windows version works on Steam. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. If you mix all that in with it being damn near impossible to play with the keyboard and your gerbo, I mean, didn't like that due to not locking that cursor and... Cursor blindness is legit. This is the first time I've ever experienced this in a game because if you're playing like that, your mouse, you have to click on the enemies in order to get your uh, character to move around. And you can lose that cursor so quick, like irritatingly quick. And I'm playing on a 43 inch monitor, man. So yeah, uh, that, that's the thing. And on top of that, having to decipher the DS4 glyphs that were hard coded uh, while using my exclude, not terribly something to like really be angry at, but that didn't do it any favors. Uh, um, I don't really feel like I played a game here, man. I, I feel like I've tolerated like an almost completed tech demo of sorts. Because at twenty nine ninety nine, what sneaky cash is? I expect Hellblade level quality. I've been spoiled, Ninja Theory. You did good. You set, you set a bar there. This this isn't Hellblade. This is more like Hexstick when you talk about it at the end of the day. Yeah, one share for that price too, man. Ouch. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's a bad little RPG when you're actually hacking and slashing. However, I was concerned when I found out in the in this in this level that you're watching Pedro play right now. The goal of the game here is to kill Svungs or Svanungs, whatever. Can't be a coincidence. I don't believe so. I, it's entirely possible. Hashtag. Whatever. Um, otherwise, it's pretty box standard uh, ARPG fare. Um, you run around, you slash stuff. Uh, one and the big strike against it is that the multiplayer is bork. Sandy, Foxy, and I tried a while to get this up and running. A number one, the you can only have up to two players in your game, which kind of sucks for ARPGs. Number two, B because we're playing near automata apparently. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just straight up doesn't work at all like it doesn't open up a socket via ss i've freaking stuck this thing in uh D in the dmz and dropped ip tables in the hopes that something would work no 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 uh but you know like diablo 3 you gotta go around and grind to upgrade your merchants and basically get to get better stuff because all the inventory uh, all all the merchants here are slot machines and mm -hmm. you just gotta uh, you got to improve your slot machine if you want to keep your damage up so that you don't just get slaughtered by legions of enemies. <laughs> the, um, I, I don't, I mean, like, it, it is pretty unapologetic grinding. Literally, one of the first quests you get is go kill some wolves. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, your, your class uh, is basically broken down to uh, what weapon you can use because your um, class abilities are tied to the weapon that you have equipped. You can multi class, sort of, but it doesn't really seem to be that worth it. You're probably better off just picking a uh, loadout and sticking with it and slot machining to get better stuff. Uh, the, the the combat itself is fine. Uh, I will say, though, that the rolling, ducking and rolling mechanism is kind of weird because you'll try to dodge stuff and then you'll end up like halfway across the stream screen away from your enemy. And that ends up getting making you eat a hit as you're trying to get back into position. I don't know. The the really really for me the lack of functional online multiplayer is what kills it. I could actually forgive a lot of what's going on with this game if I could you know play it with some friends, but I can't, and so you get two chairs. 
Yeah. Once again, this is a game I wouldn't at all mind to keep playing if it weren't for that stupid folder. It's an even bigger slap in the face now that we've seen yet again GOG's continued disregard for Linux. That aside, this game came out to mixed reviews back in, I don't know, 2016, 2015? And, uh, or maybe it was 2017, but whatever, it's been out a while and the reviews have always been mixed. And it's still mixed, even if you look at the 11 recent reviews that it has right now, still mixed. And that mix is very much how I feel about it. Now, I love the hack and slashers. I love Torchlight 1 and 2, Diablo 1 and 2, though those were all four of them were made by the same people. So, yeah, uh, progression here is very much uh, tied to leveling up your village, like Jordan mentioned. It's uh, you're going to need to grind for most of it since you don't get anywhere near enough materials to upgrade anything on any of the missions. Uh, the stickiness of the controls, if you look at the video, you see my character often attacking the um, the environment when I just want to, you know, keep moving. And she just like, no, I'm going to attack this pole here because it's in my way. I just, whatever. Uh, I wouldn't mind, you know, the main character quipping so much if it weren't for the whole thing being immediately in their minds like, oh, I'm unstoppable. And 30 seconds later, you're complaining that your hands are turning blue because you've been away from a fire for 30 seconds. Yeah. Just, no. Also... The price. No. Hell no. <laughs> I'll give it two chairs because I can see, and again, this is totally a game I would keep playing, but it's just not very good. So are you are you trying to tell me like after like bullshitting your way and lucking out, slaughtering everyone only to get killed by a case of the chills? You didn't find that enjoyable? Uh, I never got uh, killed by the chills. <laughs> I, got, I, guess that's I, I, got, I got killed by Joe Chill, but then my then my son Bruce Wayne went and avenged my death. I don't know. Uh, so, do you got any final thoughts other than this is very a very expensive game with busted multiplayer? It, it's a bit pricey, and I'm kind of with you. I mean, when you see something like, even if I didn't dig it in single player, because there are definitely games out there that I'm like, I don't like it in single player, I don't really like the game. But if you get a group of people around to fuck around with it, then you can, you know, mine some joy out of it. And I don't like that option being completely cut off to, and this isn't like just your problem. We had several people trying to connect and like this should mm -hmm. kind of be pointed out on the uh, page, like, and bring back the blink tag, like no multiplayer in Linux on the Steam version. Sorry. Uh, but, you know, hey, as the developer or the publisher, Refund buttons on Steam, baby. I mean, yeah. That, that, I would have went back with a quick disc because I the single player really didn't hook me on this. Yeah, I, it, it's it, it's it's sort of a nice little midpoint between something like Victor Vran and Diablo Three, but again, it need it needs the online multiplayer, and otherwise, it just becomes pointless grinding, and that's not enough to sustain my interest in a game. Mm. Also, yeah, also, absolutely is. <laughs> also, I will give it credit though because leaving random folders in Pedro's home folder is always, always, always. That was the theme of this month. Thus it ends. Indeed. All right, <laughs> coming up next, uh, we get some recognition about a project that we talked about. Uh, the creator wants to give us a little shout out, so we will tell you. We will shout back at them in the hate mail. And now that we've gone four for four over the past four weeks with four games creating four different folders on my home partition, I suppose Accidents it's about happen. time. <laughs> I suppose it's about time. Uh, some of you let me know how much of a uh, whiny baby. Yeah, whiny baby in a little bitch. I'm being because no, 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 no. Uh, I think you're giving people to, when people hear that that's like a legitimate issue. It, it doesn't, it, there's no anger. It, it's like sympathy. It's like, <laughs> it's retarded. <laughs> it, it, Pity. It, it, <laughs> okay. It, 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 it's like leaving Windows 10 for a long render. Aw, it's restarted. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> but yes, if you'd like to send us your pity or your stories of uh, Windows 10 restarting when you didn't want Don't it to. Don't send us your copies of Windows 10. <laughs> send us your co- send me your copies of Windows 10. I could use some coasters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, well, you could go to LinuxGameCast.com and uh, hit the contact button. Fill out the form. It's pretty easy. If you're a game developer and you want us to play your game, make sure to include uh, three keys or a copy that we can share amongst the three of us. And that's all very well and good. If you don't, we'll just make fun of you. But hey, at least this week, I think uh, Game Developer actually took the time to read that, you know, line of text that's above the contact form. Because uh, Jory uh, from Creator Create uh, is like, hi all. Uh, thanks for doing the work of covering Linux gaming. I'm about to launch a Kickstarter in about a week, and I thought I'd offer you all a pre-alpha Linux review copy in case you you shout out crowdfunding campaigns. We do, if you do it right. I developed it primarily on Manjaro. Wait a minute, wait a minute. (laughs) Did he just ask if we do exactly what we said we would do on the page from which he did? Am I getting this right? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of this sure. was copy pasted and he just included the three keys because he read oh three okay, okay. <laughs> yeah so uh, he developed it privately on Manjaro and aiming to uh, aiming for a day one uh, Linux release frankly uh, he says he's more sure that, uh, about the Linux build than the Windows one main things about the game are procedurally generates a circular space station okay Variable gravity, including micro microgravity at the center, and weird physical control scheme. So, is it going to involve a lot of uh, mouse movement, like uh, Doom teapots, godly core <laughs> with legs? <laughs> I mean, the uh, the character that just got knocked out looks, uh, and you know the other one. They look very scary, so that's that's I, a plus. I, 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 I was I was getting a little uh, Dire Straits Money for Nothing flashback L- from little, uh, that yes. trailer. A little bit. <laughs> um, hey man, uh, I tried it. Uh, it runs. It launches. I don't know what the hell's going on with it, but hey, yes, <laughs> it's it's amazing. Oh, they're gonna link their it, Kickstarter, which you didn't include in the email. Um, I don't think it's been launched yet. <laughs> hey man, listen, there's a link. <laughs> On the YouTube video. So it's going to launch on June 5th. Hey, free commercial. But you followed the rules. You did. <laughs> Which are very yeah. simple. You, you guess. Awesome. You, it's good to see somebody that out of the gate. Hey, man, I'm developing on Linux. B, I want you to come check it out. We actually have a functioning prototype. And yep. C, sending three copies so we could all be like, hey, man, it's a thing. You tick all the boxes. You win. <laughs> good, D, good job. make the check. No, um. <laughs> make the check out to uh, Tim Sweeney. Uh, <laughs> make, make it an Epic Store exclusive. <laughs> make it out to CD Project Red and the Galaxy client. Uh, hey, that's a cool project. Uh, hey, if you get anything that you want to shill, I mean, we one of the things we started this show for is to promote Linux games. So, yeah, yes, we have no problem doing that. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. Scream in our direction, <laughs> and we can get back in yours. And don't get angry at us if you leave a YouTube comment. We never get around to it because Pedro hammers that like bell button anytime, and he never like if it's comment and I don't catch it. Pedro's like, never happened, bro. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> spe- spe- speaking, speaking of smashing that bell, fam. What? <laughs> I don't know. What? Do you have a secret what? bell? I don't know about. I have many secret bells, Vin. I'm that, the bell of the ball. That, I see a bell over there, but it's way too far away for me to go get it. <laughs> and on that bell shell, let's cue the music. On that bell hell. <laughs> Alt F bell, bitch. Uh, I'm Vince Stone. You can find me on Twitter. That's where I'm hanging out now since they like shut down Google+. And they're like, yo, unless you're on Enterprise. And I'm like, man, I'd like to be on the Enterprise where I can't see ads on Chrome. And they're like, haha, fuck you, peasant. But... I'm also at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Type in Vin, you'll find me. I'm there. I'll get back to you. I'll click the heart button or the star button. I can't tell you which one, though. It's a secret. I'm Quasimodo. You can find me in the bell tower ringing the bells. (laughs) The bells of Notre Dame, which I guess aren't on fire anymore. At the Burning Fool on Twitter. 
are at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. I was about to say Google Plus because you're talking about it and put it in my damn head. One of these days. One of these days. And I am Peter Matos. You can find me on Twitter. Yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's at, at, at an accounted for. That's F O U R. Uh, yeah, did find me there. Shout at me. I might shout back. Who knows? <laughs> so, uh, like real talk, did, did you remember to tweet out that we were going live this week? Oh yeah. Damn it! I thought I was going to get you on that. Um, <laughs> damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Jordan, outside of um, bells, what did we learn? Life lesson for this week. What can the people take home with them? Uh, lovely fetching gift bag. <laughs> we, we we could make that happen. I shit you not. Uh, I, I, buy, 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 buy our shirts. Get my face on a dress. Dude. What more do you want? Okay. <laughs> Roll in the credits for the beautiful party patrons because you are awesome. Yeah. Yep. So now, many potatoes. We have unlocked because I think we've sold like seven shirts or something. We probably sold like 15 or 20 shirts. Uh, there's shit we've unlocked like weird bizarre things we can make so we we, we got to get a powwow with uh oh. everyone and like all right atomic mic barat driver <laughs> all this half load mac geek ah. damn it so man. many of them yeah so many people <laughs> like the admiral jt or north ranger or scott or fuzzy Evander. or that other jordan Brand. or the Michelle. real pedro mateus <laughs> smash cool. lead yabo smash lead g yeah, yab brad s <laughs> What about Grayson? Br- br- brat ass? Look out, we got a brat ass over here. Ventasal. <laughs> Massivoni, he's been with us for a while. Yeah, Gonzo. Mr. Amish. <laughs> oh, dumb. So Bells. Oh, shit. Mike G, still buying us everything. <laughs> Check it out. There's Frank. <laughs> Breaks back in full form. It is fine. Upstanding cannibal wall. For all after, people after who have donated hardware rewired. to the studio. <laughs> uh, freak accidents. They happen. <laughs> welcome, welcome to LGC. Freak accident. <laughs> Synonymous. It's a dangerous place to work if you're a skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. You kind of need something holding your head in place. At the, at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> fr- Frank finances. Is, what do you think? He's, he's bought, bought his way under the show for like fucking 200 episodes, man. That's where the <laughs> check comes from. <laughs> Die to fire, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Fr- Frank's cash and checks, his body can't cash. Oh, shit, son. (laughs) Five dudes. Uh.